Have you noticed that the taste of food seems to be changing and becoming less enjoyable than before? Everything is somehow tasteless. One of the reasons is that we grew that delicious food ourselves. Today we buy it from large producers. While we were growing it ourselves, the most important thing was quality. And for big companies, something completely different. Quantity. What happened? Digital Age. Welcome to the Garden Green Channel. For large companies, the most important thing is how the fruits will withstand the transport. Maximizing yield and preventing spoilage is crucial for them. The bad taste is the result of a lack of vitamins and minerals in the fruit, as well as too much chemistry. You don't need to be an expert to understand where the diseases of modern times come from. The older generations have experienced a time when the modern diseases that we see today did not exist. Tumors, heart attacks, stroke, hypertension, diabetes, and anxiety are just some of the diseases of the modern age. One of the ways to avoid these diseases is to consume organic, locally grown, or domestic fruits and vegetables. By returning to the old way of growing plants and consuming certain healthy drinks, we can be sure that what we eat and drink is healthy for us and our children. Organic Gardening Small urban gardens are becoming more and more popular as we become more aware of their value. Lots of YouTube channels of little masters who selflessly pass on their knowledge to teach others. I am one of them. On this channel, if you join, you can see a lot of tips for organic fruit and vegetable growing. In addition to healthy food, we also need to drink healthily and strengthen our immunity, especially in winter. Today, I will share with you a healthy drink recipe that has been passed down for generations. If you are afraid that you will get a seasonal cold or flu, make this healthy drink that will help you. If the ingredients are organically produced, the effect is much better. 250 milliliters of water. One apple. Fifty grams of ginger, one lemon or lime, four people who have problems with diabetes, heart problems, bleeding, gallbladder problems, weight loss problems, pregnancy, low blood pressure, before surgery, or if you are taking certain medications, ginger consumption is not recommended. Squeeze the apple, lemon, and ginger. Ginger is best known as a remedy for nausea. In addition to the many vitamins and minerals it contains, ginger's active ingredient is gingerol, which has analgesic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antibacterial properties. It is known for its medicinal effects, particularly in treating gastrointestinal problems and inflammatory diseases like arthritis and gout. Ginger tea is excellent invigorating, improves mood, warms, and helps in weight loss because it keeps you feeling full.
It can be prepared from fresh root or powdered ginger. Add one teaspoon of apple vinegar. The benefits are numerous, and some of them are maintaining stable blood glucose and treating diabetes. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of honey. Cinnamon is difficult to dissolve in water, so you can put it in lemon before squeezing. The flavor is excellent, and you'll want to make it often because it's packed with immune-boosting nutrients that can help you avoid frequent visits to the doctor. Apple cider vinegar dissolves fat in the blood, a lesser-known benefit. By forming healthy habits, you can significantly reduce the workload on your heart's blood vessels and maintain a healthy cardiovascular system. It's important to prioritize your heart health and take action toward it by adopting healthy habits. The basis of any disease prevention is proper nutrition. It has been proven that the best type of diet is food rich in omega-3 fatty acids, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. The most crucial factor is the type of food we purchase and the amount of toxins we consume from the potent chemicals used to treat it. By choosing to buy from local suppliers or starting your own garden, you're not only getting access to fresh produce, but you're also supporting your local community. Choose wisely and let's contribute to a healthier and more sustainable future for us and our children. We are here to help you in exchange opinions, experiences, and ways of growing organic food. I genuinely appreciate your support through your likes, subscriptions, and engagement. Thanks for tuning in.